peace be with you. Come to unlimited salvation and love him. Glory be to God Almighty. Glorify God Almighty. Come to unlimited salvation. He died for you. Need him. I shall guide you to approach eternal Savior. Come and yearn to learn the good things. Dan said that. Doctor of the King, do you remember when I fed my people with manna? Exodus 16, 13 through 16. I threw it from heaven. It came from my stores in heaven. Do you know that it is I who lifted the seas so that my people could cross to the Sinai, which is where, not the Sinai Peninsula, but the Mount Sinai, which is really Mount Jabal Musa, which is Mount Horeb, which is in Arabia, not on the Sinai Peninsula, but it's called Mount Sinai because the wilderness of Sin was actually in Arabia. However, many people believe Mount Sinai is the mountain at the bottom of the tip of what today we call the Sinai Peninsula. But the crossing of the Red Sea was actually the eastern arm of the Red Sea, and they found chariot wheels on the eastern arm of the Red Sea. The eastern arm is the part that's between the Sinai Peninsula and the Arabia Peninsula. They found golden chariot wheels still intact, and they saw coral reefs, and they saw coral reefs shaped in chariot wheels on the sand ridge, which is halfway down the Sinai Peninsula towards the southern tip from the uh, from Israel. Okay. And she answers, yes, Lord. I do. He says, I am omnipotent. Little one, I am the one who installs together this guidance to feed many. I have, daughter of the king, communicated with you all this time. See? And she answers, my God, and still I'm fearing that this is done by my by my subconscious. He answers saying, let me tell you instantly that you would never have done all this work on your own. Do you believe in miracles? She says, yes, I do. And he says, consider this as a miracle. Consider this as a miracle then. I love you. And she says, I love you, Father Almighty. How could I explain to people when they ask me, how do I see you? I feel your presence very much and it's no fancy and he answers tell them that you see me with the eyes of your soul and she says sometimes eternal savior i think i'm imagining you and want to turn my eyes away from you the vision to convince myself it's not you and he answers in doing this you offend me daughter of the king i have given you this grace accept my gift accept what i give you and she says Lord, sometimes, and especially in Bangladesh, with the heat, I feel exhausted. I wish I could do more work. Sometimes I wish I was like an amoeba split in several pieces. He answers, I give you enough strength to complete my works. Luke once said, I will never exhaust since I am working for the Lord. For the Lord himself is my strength um, and then he says little one I have led you as a father would lead this his little child by the hand to school estimate what you have earned with me she says I have indeed earned a lot since I never practiced religion and nor had a Bible in the house since school time and not having been to church since the baptism of my first son 15 years ago you taught me many things not that I now consider myself as a scholar but at least you taught me who you are and how much you love us and of how to love you he answers I have given you fruit from my own garden I wish to fill up your stores with my fruit and she says I asked him something which I don't wish to write down and he answers I know but I know daughter of the king 
let be like I wish it to be. And then she says, I could not help produce a smile to my ears. It felt so good to have a small chit-chat in this way with eternal salvation. I felt him like I was talking to a good friend. I couldn't help smiling. I was almost giggling. I was happy. And he says, I am cheerful too. And she says, yes, he was. It was marvelous. And he, and he says, daughter of the king. Do you know how I delight and enjoy these moments, these moments where you talk to me as a companion? Daughter of the king, we still have work to be done. Be blessed. I will give you a sign of my presence, beloved. And she writes, eternal salvation. What sign? I mean, where? It says, in your house. I will prove to you that I am present. And she writes, I love you, eternal salvation. I wish I could please you. And he answers, altar, keep drawing from me and keeping my flame in you ardently ablaze. Okay, later on, St. Mary says, daughter of the king, I will always console you when the wolf's fiery words wound your soul. Satisfy my almighty son's thirst. Quench his insatiable thirst for love. Let us pray to the Father Almighty. Father of mercy, in adoration I am at your feet. In you I hope. And believe I love you boundlessly. Amen. I repeated it. Thank you, Saint Mary. Allow me to lean on you, beloved, my almighty son, and I never leave you. Hear my almighty son. And then he says, I, eternal salvation, love you, soul. I love you. And she says, I love you, Lord. Lord. What will we do? I meant, what are the further instructions now? He says, all be done by me. I am the one and only holy, pure ecclesia. Pray for this unity. Pray for those souls who reject you, my beloved ones. I love you. I am with you all the time. She explains, eternal saviors voice was very soft and intimate here and he says come to me when your heart is afflicted by the ravenous wolves hear me daughter of the king my kingdom is among you and then uh, continue on he says Peter of my heart Stone, Peter, of my lambs. This is the holy name I have given him. Peter, of my lambs. Peter, of my lambs. But the Cains have dethroned him, stealing from him the crown. I had honored him with, I the Lord. Love him, for this one is the well-beloved of my soul. This stolen crown, I will return to him. I will overthrow the false kingdoms which sallowed my body. Floating kingdoms, kingdoms without roots. I will reverse these false kingdoms and raise up in my light. Like a torch. My real kingdom. And to Peter, I will give entirely back his seat, enthroning him. And I will place into his hand an iron scepter in which I will give him the power to reign as shepherd. I will mass my scattered lambs. She explains, I had a vision of angels trying to push together the lambs into the fold. And he says, and when I have done this, I will encircle this fold with my arms. And no one. 
No one, not even the evil one, will be able to steal one single lamb out of this fold. My cape. I will spread over them and shelter them in my warmth, protecting them. To Peter, I shall give back what I had given him when I was on earth and in flesh. No man will transgress the bounds of my will. For all that is now is your doing, not mine. I abhor anarchy and rebellion against me, daughter of the king, betrothed, brothers, every step you take, I, the Lord, bless. Now with Malachi 3.1 and Revelations 3.20, I, the Lord, whom you seek will suddenly come into my temple. I am at your door knocking. Will you let me in? With me, I carry my salvation plan. My scroll has been written and is ready for consumption. It should be mentioned that I relayed my salvation plan of peace and love to honor Peter's seat as it should have been honored. I come to give him back his shepherd's crown. Approach Peter. <clears throat> Approach Peter Stone. Approach your Lord. And she says, thank you, Lord. And he, and he says, we're not to writing. We us? And she says, yes, Lord. We us. Later on, on a different in a different year, says um, he says, men have lessened and have degenerated. If only they renounce their folly. Pray, doctor. Nevertheless, even in your state of degeneration, I love you and I weep on your atrophy. She says, I had been with eternal salvation. In dictation, when he had finished dictating, I hurried up to do other things without blessing him or praising him. In my wickedness, I treated him as if he was any human being who dictates a message, somehow forgetting his divinity, almightiness. I felt very ashamed, and so I came flying back to him and asked him to forgive me. When he told me all this, he it was like some not surprised, calm but sad. He says, I will help you and teach you to discern. I will teach you to recognize who is with you. She explains while writing, to discern an evil spirit from God Almighty or my angel. And he says, eternal salvation loves you eternally. Fear not, for I am here and I love you all. This was unlimited salvation speaking this time. My angel quoted him. She says, Lord, would you like to write your 
message for the reunion of May 19th. 